Hi and welcome to Beach Bumbling. If you like shopping, if you like eating street foods, if you like tasting new things, then today is the day for you. We're going to the Saturday Olas Atlas Farmer's Market. It's located in Puerto Vallarta in the Romantic Zone. So break out your pesos and strap on your feed bag. Let's get going. We left the Crystal Vallarta where we were staying around 11 in the morning and it took about 25 minutes to get there by cab. It cost us 125 pesos, which at the time of this posting was about 10 bucks Canadian or $7.30 US. They have over 80 booths there and everything you see is made, baked, grown, sown and sold by vendors that live within 50 miles of Puerto Vallarta. So that's pretty cool. It's open from 9.30 in the morning till two in the afternoon. An hour and a half later, you wouldn't even know it existed. This looked completely different when the market was in here, eh? Located just a couple blocks away is the famous Los Muertos Beach Pier. You can take a boat taxi there from smaller beach towns like Boca de Tamatlan, Yalapa, Miss La Moya, and you could walk to the market from there in a couple minutes. And if you want to spend the day just exploring the area of the Malacones right there, there's lots of other restaurants and places to eat if you don't get enough at the market. There's lots of shopping, lots of art to check out on the Malacone. You can really make a day of it down here. And our day started here at the market. So let's have a look at that. See what the vendors have to offer. We're going to check out some vegan tacos that were the bomb. So enough chit chat. Let's go take a look. Oh, natural dog and cat treats. <laughs> Should get them some good owners. Uh, fruit water. Yeah, that's kind of cool. They're setting up live music there. They got a grandstand. Get a normal coffee? Pardon? You just get a normal coffee? Yeah. We travel to Mexico where it's 30 degrees so my wife can have a coffee. <laughs> I haven't had a good coffee. Yeah. This coffee is a million times better than the coffee at our resort. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the bedazzled store. <laughs> if you buy something fragile, most of the vendors will secure it for you with cardboard and tape. That's what that noise is and what that guy's doing in the corner. That way when you take it on the plane it won't get mangled. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Yeah. What are they doing there? Glass blowing? One of the cool things about this market is you can watch the artisans live at work here. You can tell he's been holding this craft for a while. Look at all the stuff he's got for sale on the table there. And you got cheeses? Mm -hmm. We'll try that one. The jalapeno one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'll we'll get a green on that. Oh, that's, that's nice. Way to pack. Oh, there's the heat. I was waiting for it. It's <laughs> good. Very nice. Thank you. Come up here, <laughs> Ah, it all looks good, man. What's with cha cha? Or the chaka? Usually I was trying to eat, but this all made from jackfruit. Jackfruit? Jackfruit. Oh, okay. So it's shredded beef, it's dried, and rehydrated when it's dried. Would you like to try any samples? I'll try it. So which one's which? Special of the day, machacas or whatever. <laughs> All right, let's give this a whirl. That's a special. 
Yeah. Yeah. Machaca. Machaca. You like it? Yeah, it's very good. So this is the special of the day. And that's the, I don't know, she explained what it was, but I don't know why I remember. <laughs> And up here, it's just that way. Right? Yeah. You know what? I would eat this again. But, uh, yeah, I've never tried these in the forest. This is pretty good. You know, I like the I think I'm like the chocolate better. It looks kind of more like meat. Mm. Yeah, definitely worth a try. Just want to circle back to that uh, place that we just ate at. It was off camera. We talked to the girl that worked there. Because I wasn't convinced that there wasn't any meat in some of that dish. And she looks just, like meat. It looks like meat. like meat. It tastes like meat. It's jackfruit. And uh, so, yeah. Peppers. And, we were having yeah. a debate after we ate it, actually, if it was meat or not. Because they had, like, El Pastor and things like that. Uh, what's the other pork one? Uh, carnitas. And carnitas. So she said, no, man, it's just a place for vegan options. But no, that was vegan food. And uh, people that know me know that's not what I like. And it was good. It was really good. And I would actually eat that again. We had four of these tasty morsels at 20 pesos a piece. That ended up being 80 pesos total. About $6.36 Canadian or $4.70 US. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. El Malegro del Art. This booth was mostly for the kids. You picked a shape and then they had all these little trinkets you could decorate it with and paint it and stuff. Fresh bread. Such. What else is over here? Oh, there it is. List. It's good. What are these guys making? Jelly? Chutney? Meat on a stick. You gotta like meat on a stick. Some more juices and stuff. What we got here? India. Bites of India. Samosas, okay? I just got done eating them over there. I would. I didn't know this existed, but it looks good. Here you go. We got poblano peppers over here. It's a lot of meat, right? What's this? I'm gonna send that to Watsi. That's our friends over at Watts Traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll leave the link to the channel in the description of the video. <laughs> Look at the dog. The back, I didn't notice it walking up. Do you sweet tooth? You come this way? Right? No. It smells good. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Duggo. Mm -hmm. Cinnabon. Anything else? Really good. That's kind of like a noisy swank in there somewhere. Oh, there is. Oh, really? 
I'm really digging all this uh, tile work. on eating here at this market here's a couple tips you might want to follow you should get there early to avoid food items being sold out check out all the different places and items at the stands before you start trying the food and that's going to be it for today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any tips for the market that we left out or something we should know for next time next week we'll take you on a beach walk in the hotel zone so we hope you tune in for that until the next time cheers